All right, let's learn about some ramps and wedges. So this is Kingfisher, page 300. Um, follow along with me. Ramps and wedges. Machines are devices that make it easier to do work against a force. Ramps and wedges are examples of simple machines based on inclined planes. Machines do work as they move loads. The load moves when a force, called the effort, is applied to one part of a machine. It takes less effort to move a load with the help of a machine than without. The total amount of work done is the same whether a machine is used or not. Ramps. Ramps are the simplest of all machines. They consist of a flat surface lifted up at one end to make an inclined plane. An example is a plank of wood with one end on the floor and the other end resting on a chair. It takes less, less effort to push a load up a ramp than to lift it straight up. Wedges. Wedges have two back-to-back -back sloping surfaces. The narrowest part of a wedge is where the two surfaces meet. Wedges are used for splitting objects made of wood or stone. A large hammer applies effort to the flat end of the wedge. The wedge directs this force out at right angles to its sloping sides. To its two sloping sides. The narrow end of the wedge drives its way into the object, and the force from each sloping face splits the object apart. An axe is a hammer and a wedge combined in a single tool. Screws. Screws are simple machines that hold things together. A screw consists of an inclined plane, called a thread, wrapped around a pointed cylinder. Effort is applied to a screw by using a screwdriver to turn its head. Rotating the head through a large angle, moves the point of the screw forward by a short distance. Bolts are similar to screws, but they are not pointed. The thread on the outside of a bolt fits into the inside of a nut, thread of a nut. Some bolts multiply the turning force up to 400 times as they tighten with their nut. Mechanical advantage. When an effort is applied to one part of a machine, another part of the machine applies a force to the load. Most machines change a small effort into a large force that is applied to a load. A number called the mechanical advantage of a machine is the ratio of the force on a load to the force of effort. The greater the mechanical advantage, the better the machine is at multiplying effort. The total amount of heat and work that comes out of a machine is equal to the total work put into the machine. Okay, Let's look at some of these little pictures. So up here at the top by this ramp, it says it takes less force to push a load up a sloping ramp than to lift the same load straight up to the same vertical height. Makes sense. Makes work easier. Down here, this lumberjack guy, construction worker. A wedge converts the downward force of a hammer blow into opposing sideways forces that can be used to split logs and rocks. And up at the top. When a screw holds two pieces of wood together, they are forced together as the screw tightens. And down at the bottom, this road. The hairpin bends in this road allow it to climb the hill at a gentler gradient than if the road were straight. So if the road were straight, it would be a steep hill. But instead, you go slowly over a longer distance. You, go, you know, it's less, it's less steep because it's a longer distance. The course of the road is considerably longer than if it were straight, but it can be climbed much more easily by cars and trucks. Alright, there's a little intro on wedges and ramps.